thinkers, welcome back to our weekly fun time video. Are you ready for some exciting lessons and stories? For nice colorful pictures and fun activities? I want you to put on your thinking caps and let's dive into a world of learning and adventure. So the lessons that will be covered during this week in spelling we will learn about the short I sound. On Monday, we will learn about consonants C, P, and N, and we will learn also about the short I. On Tuesday, we will continue reading the story, The Blackout. On Wednesday, we will learn about the action words or doing words. On Thursday, we will learn about full stops. So the spelling words for this week are it, sit, mit, pin, and sip. Let's use the words into sentences. I took a little sip of my drink. I catch the ball with the mitt. It is very big. The man is sitting on the chair. I have three pins. In phonics, we'll be learning about the consonants C, P, and N, and we will continue learning about the short I words. So the sound of I is A. Let's read the words here. We have a bib, pill, drink, six, bin, kid, chip, and twig. So again, what's the sound of I? A. As for the letter C, the sound of C is K. Let's read the words here. We have cup, castle, cat, candy, and cube. As for the consonant N, the sound of N is N, as in nap. It's at the beginning of the word monkey. The N is in the middle and we have not. The sound of P is P as in pie, pig, puppy and pen. On Tuesday, we'll be reading a story titled The Black Out. And the genre of a story is a realistic fiction, which is a made-up story that could happen in real life. Realistic fiction has characters, and characters are real people in the story. In this story, we'll be reading about people living in the same building. They helped, and they took care of each other just like friends. And this story is aligned with our transdisciplinary theme, how we organize ourselves. And it means working together and being good neighbors. It's also about being caring and open-minded and making sure that everyone in the building is happy and safe. We'll be learning about action words. Action words are very important, and they are doing words. Every sentence must have a verb, and the verb is a word that shows action. Always ask yourself, what is he doing or what is she doing? Let's look at the pictures here. What is the boy doing in the first picture? He's walking, so walk is a verb. We see a boy running. Ask yourself, what is he doing here? I see him crying, cry. So cry is a verb. Again, action words are doing words. They are words that tell us what someone or something is doing. Now we will learn about full stops. 
full stop is a punctuation mark that indicates the end of a sentence. We use a full stop or a tiny dot again at the end of a sentence. It is like saying, okay, I'm done talking about this. So when you finish telling something, put full stop. Let's have some examples here. I have a cat. You finished the sentence, you end it with a full stop. She likes to play. The sentence here is over. So again, you end it with a full stop.